At the end of spring training, the Philadelphia Phillies stay in Florida and make the trip over to Miami to face their division rival Miami Marlins at Marlins Park on opening day. And on the hill for the Marlins is Jordan Yamamoto, the second year right-hander, a uh, young pitcher. I had a pretty good year in his first season, a whip of 1.1 ERA in the mid fours and 78 innings pitched. And on the mound for the Phillies would be Aaron Nola, their ace, uh, 3.87 ERA last year, striking out 229 batters in just over 200 innings, a whip of 1.2. And these uh, guys are two, definitely two different starting pitchers and definitely uh, would have two different games in this game as Aaron Nola was pretty dominating uh, pretty much all day striking out Jonathan VR there the first batter of the inning and then getting Corey Dickerson the second batter in the inning and Yamamoto of course had a very different day allowing hard contact pretty much all day and that is some hard contact right there Reese Hoskins hitting the first home run for the Philadelphia Phillies on the season in the top of the second inning in his first at bat of the season a pretty much laser of a home run right there got out in a hurry and we're gonna take a look quick at the stat cast on that one as that ball surely was a line drive out into the left center gap again here of course looking at the show track 110 miles per hour on that one launching of 16 degrees so pretty straight ball right there got out in under five seconds and just a hair over 400 feet and then back in the bottom of the second inning Nola would continue dominating this Marlins lineup getting another strikeout to uh, the Marlins in the bottom of the second right where he left off in the bottom of the first Back to the Phillies here at bat, JT Realmuto getting a one out double in the top of the third inning to start the Phillies off in that inning. Later in the inning, Gene Segura would come up for the Phillies and hit one right back up the middle in the fleet of feet Realmuto, especially fast for a catcher would use those wheels to get into home and Segura would also take second on the throw to home. Jonathan VR there of course making the throw in center field and Nola in the bottom of the fourth would get into some trouble with the runner on second and first. One out but gets Brian Anderson to strike out there and then the catcher Jorge Alfaro former Philly to a weak fly ball out there to Adam Hazley. so the first trouble Nola faces of the day and he gets right out of it. Top of the fifth full count to Harper and no doubt about that one a moonshot out to center field, into the bushes out there in center field, a long home run. Somewhere that is rarely touched by most hitters in the major leagues as Harper gets his first hit and first home run of the season. So two early solo shots um, in uh, this game for the Phillies quieting a quite large uh, Marlins crowd on opening day. Now back in the bottom of the fifth, Aaron Nola back at it on the mound, striking out his man there. Another strikeout on the day where he had plenty. VR back up again, bottom of the fifth. VR strikes out again, striking out in his second at bat of the game. Later, bottom of the sixth, Nola, 3 1 pitch. He would get some help uh, from Segura here. Um, so, not all uh, this was Nola stringing out guys today. Segura, of course, playing his first major league game at third base today and showing to be pretty good making a fantastic throw from foul territory as you can see there on the show track covered about 10 feet and absolutely launched a missile from foul territory over there the first to get his man at first so a great play by Sakura flashing the glove there this first game at third later Noah Dickerson back up the plate and he would strike out on the low change up below the strike zone now bottom of the seventh Brian Anderson, you are clear for takeoff. An absolute moonshot by Brian Anderson. A crazy home run right there. Everyone loving it. Marlins crowd, uh, uncharacteristic, uncharacteristically large crowd, of course, for a Marlins game. Everyone coming out for opening day, and they sure did see a show that Brian Anderson shocking absolutely everyone with that home run. Everyone is loving this. Philly's dugout does not even know what to say. Pending over to the Marlins, getting handshakes from everyone on an absolute bomb of a home run right there. See here, Brian Anderson channeling his inner John Carlos Stanton 
an absolute just missile out way back in the left field and hitting off Nola's face on the scoreboard. The ultimate disrespect to the pitcher you're facing. And then here, Jose Aguilar pinch hitting and he hits one deep out of the center field at no doubter. So quickly here, Nola's great game is kind of getting away from him with the Marlins tying the score in the bottom of a seven. So Nola not getting the win today, even after a performance that was pretty dominant for the first innings. But he ran into some trouble in the seventh with that absolute bomb from Anderson and now Aguilar tying up the score with a two-run shot with uh, Jorge Alfaro on base. And you can see there Nola's stats on the day. Uh, 11 strikeouts, two walks, but did give up those three runs, so uh, those three earned runs, all in the bottom of the seventh inning. Here in the top of the ninth, Kingry hits one two second, but his man would not be able to make the play in the field. And that would prove pretty costly for the Marlins as Jay Bruce um, hitting that one out to the left and that ball hooking, 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 but is able to stay fair, just sneaking in and behind the left field pole. So Jay Bruce puts the Phillies back on top with a 5-3 lead. Then later in, Neil Walker would come out and beat the shift to get a double with two outs in the inning to give the Phillies um, more life at a, and a chance at uh, some more insurance run he, runs here in the top of the ninth. JT Romito would come up next for the Phillies, trying to provide an insurance run for the Phillies. And he would do just that, hitting one right back up the middle. Neil Walker racing home VR uh, for the second time today, making a throw that's too late at home. Um, almost got him, but uh, the throw was a little offline, and Alfaro could not reach behind him. And after a scoreless eighth inning uh, from Jose Alvarez, Hector Neris would come on for the Phillies to get the to try to get the save. Uh, he was the best reliever by far last year. 2.93 ERA and whip just over one. And in his first at bat of the game, he would get a weak fly out to right field and the Marlins really were not able to get much doing off of him in the inning. Hild Ramirez would follow with a weak fly ball of his own. This one out barely past shortstop where Dede Gregorius with a quiet debut in his first game as a Philly would it get that one for the out. And then to end the game here, another slick play by Segura while he makes a diving stop out there at third base. His second great play of the game and that would give the Phillies a opening day 6-3 win against their division opponent, uh, the Marlins, who of course are not known for being a great team, but the Phillies certainly struggled against them last year with a, I believe, a losing record, but a good game for the Phillies this year. Uh, a lot of firsts for the Phillies. Uh, First the game for J.D. Gregorius as a Philly, first game for uh, Gene Segura as a third baseman for the Phillies. So lots of good takeaways from opening day today as the Marlins, of course, are on the losing end of this one. And your player of the game for the Phillies would be Jay Bruce for that clutch go-ahead home run in the top of the ninth inning, where, of course, the Phillies would take the lead from there. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.